Day Review, brought to you by your Admiral dealer. Demand to see for Admiral dual temp refrigerators, Admiral electric ranges, Admiral radios, phonographs, and magic mirror television. It's the Admiral Broadway Review, County Fair. blend of song, dance, and comedy takes you to a county fair. Once and all, hear me as I fall. One week in the year, you know, when the fair is near, we go. Come along, gather round, and we'll all go to town. The fair is here. He'll take us there to the county fair. We came here at 9 o'clock in the morning, and it's getting dark. We're going home. Are you afraid of the dark, Pop? Of course I'm not afraid of the dark. Then why are we going home? Because I'm tired. But 
What's the matter, Pop? Can't you take it anymore? I guess he's not as young as he used to be. I... Yeah, you're getting old, Pop. I get... It won't be long now. All right, all right. Where do you want to go? You want to go on the Ferris wheel? What's a Ferris wheel? What's a big thing that goes around and around? Like a Ferris wheel? No, a merry goes up and down, up and down like but a But Daddy, if it goes round and round, how can go up and down? Well, it's down and it goes both ways, you understand? Why? Mm, because that's the way they made it. Who it, made it? The people who make the amusements, they made it. What's an amusement? Mm, amusement? Amusement's bad. It's, uh, it's everything around here is an amusement. Uh, Daddy, it? Daddy, is that door over there with the sign <coughs> on the top, is that an amusement? No, darling, that's a... Uh, <laughs> you know perfectly well what that is. <laughs> They're shooting ducks. Real ducks? No, make believe ducks, darling. Why do they make believe they're ducks? They don't make believe the ducks. The people make believe the ducks are ducks. Why do the people want to be ducks? The people don't want to be ducks. They make believe the ducks are ducks. But Daddy, if the ducks are ducks, why do people make believe the ducks? Because they're not made the deal. The people, the people make the ducks who make the people. The people who know the, the ducks will come. The ducks stop the people. <laughs> Let's go home. I want to go on the first. All right, I want to go. All right, we'll go and go on this. I want to go on the first. All right, we'll go on. All right, all right. All right, all right. All right. Let's go home. I want to go on the shoot the shoot. You can't go on the shoot the shoot. It's, it, 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 it makes you scared. How do you know it does? Because I was on one and I was scared. But Daddy, if people get scared, why do they go on the shoot the shoot? Because people are crazy and they don't be scared. Are crazy? No, of course I'm not crazy. Then why did you go on it? <laughs> All right, I'm crazy. So I want to be crazy and go you on it. You can't be crazy. You're too young to be crazy. Why? You don't know it's a dangerous thing. It goes way up in the air. And then it comes down. Then it fast you feel like your stomach is going to burst out. Oh, and then everybody thinks they're going to be killed. And they all scream. <laughs> And then he goes into a dark alley, really dark, and it's all seeing all kinds of faces. And then a long hand comes out and grabs her, and they scream. He is crazy. <laughs> Wait, Pop, do you feel all right? I feel fine. I thought you were tired. I am tired. I'm tired and I'm hungry. I want you to go home. You're hungry, Daddy? Want to eat my hot dog? Get some of my ice cream, Daddy. I just want it. I want some food. Oh, is this food? Of course not. Well, what is it? Food. Then eat it. Aren't you ashamed? Ashamed? Of course, of course. It's been very cruel to you, old man. Why? You should be ashamed, both of you. Giving me a hot dog without any mustard. Oh, is that the way you want it, Daddy? Oh, oh my Daddy. <laughs>
Janet Collins in After the Mardi Gras. gentlemen, for the wrestling match of the age. You are going to see absolutely and positively the greatest single attraction at the county fair. We are presenting tonight that one and only Mr. Gorgeous America. Mr. Gorgeous America will test his strength and agility against none other than the Purple Wasp. 
Ladies and gentlemen, step right inside now for the wrestling match of the age. Absolutely the greatest attraction at the county fair. Ready to begin right away. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner we have the Greek champion, Hercules Tragus, and his opponent, the great sensation, Gorgeous America. of wrestling. I don't want unnecessary rough. When I say break, I want you to break and break clean. I don't want any kicking, no biting, no gouging, no punching. Now Come shake hands. Minute. Stop. Wait a while. Wait a while. Wait a while. Now shake hands and maybe the best man win. <laughs> Just a moment, I'll be right with you. <laughs> Girl Disc Jockey, Miss Fanny Slipperton, entertains you every night from 
10 p.m. until 10 a.m. It is now 5 a.m. and our Fanny is still going strong. So, take it away, Fanny Flippadip. Everybody. This is your girl, Fanny Flippadis. I'm here from 10 to 10. I'm playing your favorite records, answering your phone calls, and reading all of your requests. Now, the first thing I have is a request that came to me in 1923. <laughs> J.L., if you're still alive, this is just for you. I hope you like it. Hello? Hello, Mother. How are you? I'm fine, Mother. How are you, Mother? All right, Mother, what are you doing? You listening to the show, Mother? You like the show? That's wonderful, Mother. Yes, I'll be right home after the show, Mother. All right, Mother. Enjoy yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my mother. <laughs> and now, folks, I'd like to answer another request that I have. It's from Rin Jin Kim. And he would like to hear, it's what is known as my collector's item. This record is worth over $1,000. It's the last one in captivity, and it's Enrique Caruso singing, Potter Your Feet with Sunshine. It's a wonderful song. I would like it very much. Oh, oh, no, no, ladies and gentlemen, I just have a signal of entering into the club. Is that wonderful, that funny man, the man you all see and love, that funniest man that you've ever seen, Joe Jolly. Say hello, Joe. Say hello. How are you, Penny? I'm fine. How are you, Joe? Listen, I want you to say something. Say something about the show. Well, you'd rather say something about our beer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to all know that Joe is under no obligation whatsoever to praise our beer. Joe, you're on your own. <laughs> well, <laughs> Blob beer is the finest beer in the world. Drink Blob beer at breakfast, dinner, and supper, and in between. Bathe in Blob beer. Brush your teeth in blood beer. There's no beer like blood beer. It says here. Hi, Betty. Thank you so much, Joe. I think that was just wonderful of you to say that to me. Thank you, Joe Jolly. Hello? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is Fanny Flippadis. Uh-huh. Well, thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. That's just wonderful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Uh -huh. Huh? The sponsor? Mr. Blob. Oh, yes, Mr. Blob. How are you? What? They're not selling any beer? It's my fault. Listen, maybe you wouldn't like to drink iodine with a head on it either. Well, why don't you drink it? All right. They're listening out there. Hello? Who's this? John Jones? Yes, this is Fanny. Mm-hmm. What? You listen to me every night, all night long? Your wife left you because she's jealous of me. What? Huh? You're being evicted from your house because you play the radio all night? Oh, it's too... Your children have left you, too? You can't work because you're up all night listening to me. Oh, isn't that sweet? What? Huh? You want to come over and see me personally? Wonderful, wonderful. I'll be right here. All right, John, that's fine. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you were all here with me this evening. But in our midst, we have that lovely and lovely dashing star of screen, stage, and radio. You all know we're in love, and I hope everybody in the club can see her. I just wish you out there could see her, too. Can everybody see her? Reba? Reba? Roll over, Reba, so they can see your face. <laughs> That's it. Are you Fanny Clifford? Yes. I'm John Jones. Oh, John Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, this is John Jones. This is the man who's lost his wife, family, and children just because he loves to hear my program. John, I'd like to play a special record for you. What should I play for you? This one. Oh. They're listening out there. <laughs>
charity for East Indian dancing. Well, now, as you know, in this type of dancing, every little movement has a meaning all its own. Having made a vast study of the subject, I would like to tell you what some of the movements mean. May I demonstrate for you the ancient Hindu ritualistic dance, the Krishnamurti. But, before I begin, permit me to elucidate. The Krishnamurti is not easy to comprehend or even to understand. <laughs> that is at first glance, or even second glance, or third glance, or fourth. Well, perhaps the fourth, but not the third. <laughs> Be that as it may, and it is quite possible in Christian Murti, hmm. every little meaning has a movement all its own. <laughs> Which in Hindustani means Example, this means go away, while this also means go away. <laughs> Only farther. And this means get away, boys, you bother me. Now in this dance, which I collected you for you, you will see me do this. That dearly means that once upon a time the ancient god Siva had a beautiful daughter who one day went walking through the forest where she met an elephant but a sorcerer who lurked nearby cast a spell whereupon the beautiful daughter turned into the elephant, and the elephant turned into the beautiful daughter, and the sorcerer turned home, only to be greeted by his wife with these words, where have you been all day? And the sorcerer replied, lo, I have been wreaking vengeance, whereupon his wife replied, that's not the only thing you reek of, you drunkard. Which brings us to the next movement. Now, in this dance, which I shall execute for you, you will see me do this. and Gower Champion attend a county fair.
ladies and gentlemen, Admiral presents Sid Caesar. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a certain type of nightclub that features the rhythm of the samba. And you'll notice that in front of each one of these bands, there's one fellow who has the roughly sleeves and the maracas. And he's always so alive, always around. He's always making everybody so happy. Well, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to show you a page in one of these samba singers. You know, singing this, the samba night after night, day in and day out, all the time, that rhythm it's a, it's kind of creeps into your system. So I'd like to show you the life of a samba singer from the time he leaves his job to get married, his wedding, his honeymoon, and his married life, and how it affects his work. <clears throat> Well, here we go. You promised to take this word wife be a maestro for you, but you stop putting the Yashka by no punch in the head with a maestro, the maestro, and a punch in the Magasha, the Maga for you, the Yashka for you. See, 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 senor, see, I do, but you show me a pale way, I'm a toy, but in the way you can be used to my idea, you take this man for your husband, but you should make the way for the main type of music, by Yashka, but the way for the way of the Kukum of the Lady, whatever you say, but that for the way for the way of 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 the way
noise about? Why the hat cheering? Ray! Why do they stand and shout? Why do they scream? Ray! It's the final inning. The other team is winning. Enter the pride of the Tenderville team. Lucky McNeil, Lucky McNeil. It's a cinch in a pit. We need Lucky McNeil. <laughs> He is at the plate, ready to deliver. Let's go. His team is counting on Lucky's good aim. But some pretty creatures are smiling from the bleachers. See how they're taking his mind off the game. Lucky, Lucky McNeil, ain't it a shame? Keeping your mind on a game, not the game. <laughs> was at stake. No to the contrary, he stole a glance at Mary and remembered a picnic one day by the lake. <laughs> was beside the lake over milk and cake when our Mac fell in love with Mary. He asked her to change her name, she said, win the game. Then he pledged his love over bath and glove. She was flattered but still quite wary. She said, yes, I'll change my name. drop all eyes were glued upon lucky mcneil but in that second and of the memory beckon luella in her brand new automobile in my carriage horses carriage you and i will be the envy of them all through the city sitting pretty we will hurry to the park where you play ball you will make a hit to two or three. And I know that you'll be playing just for me. Just for you. In my carriage, horse of carriage, while we're speeding through the streets so merrily. In my carriage, think of marriage. When you hit the ball, you'll make a hit with me.
of the team. Think of Tenderville. Think of the honor of your profession. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Lucky, oh, lucky. The man to see for dual temp refrigerators, electric ranges, radios, record players, and magic mirror television brings you another star-studded Admiral Broadway review.